Graduates and guests, today's graduation ceremony is about to begin. Swinburne University of Technology Chancellor Graham Goldsmith will preside over the ceremony. Mr Goldsmith will be preceded into the hall by Ms Katie Routley, the mace bearer. The mace is the symbol of institutional authority and is carried as a, as a symbolic weapon of protection. The presiding officer and mace bearer are members of the official party who will be escorted into the hall by the academic procession. The academic procession is about to enter the hall. Would you please stand? Please remain standing for the national anthem. The words are printed inside the back cover of the ceremony program and will be displayed on the screen. Please be seated. My name is Professor Glenn Bates, Pro Vice Chancellor of Student Engagement. I'd like to welcome you all to this graduation ceremony. This is one of five ceremonies the university is holding this week for more than 1,700 Swinburne graduates. It's now my pleasure to introduce the people who are seated on stage. Seated at the centre of the stage is Mr Graham Goldsmith, Chancellor will provide over this ceremony. The Chancellor is joined today by Professor Linda Christensen, AO, Vice-Chancellor and President of Swinburne University of Technology. The Right Honourable Datok Patingi, Dr. Abang Haji Abdul Rahman Zohari bin Tun Datak Abang Haji Openg, who's being awarded an honorary doctorate today's ceremony. Professor John Wilson, Deputy Vice-Chancellor and CEO, Swinburne Sarawak. Mr. David Coltman, Deputy Vice-Chancellor, Pathways and Vocational Education. Professor Beth Webster, Pro Vice-Chancellor, Research, Policy and Impact. Professor Janet Hiller, Dean, School of Health Sciences, Faculty of Health, Arts and Design. Professor Duncan Bentley, Deputy Vice-Chancellor, Academic. Dr. Andrew J. Smith, Vice President, Students. Ms. Marcia Goff, Vice President, People and Culture. Ms. Ms. Eastman, Executive Director, Pathways and Vocational Education Operations. The other staff seated on the stage are academics and professional staff who played such a large part in the success of today's graduates. Now it gives me great pleasure to invite Mr. Graham Goldsmith, Chancellor of Swinburne University of Technology, to formally open proceedings. The Vice Chancellor, members of staff, distinguished guests, graduates, families, and friends. On behalf of Swinburne University of Technology, it is my pleasure to welcome you to this graduation ceremony. I would like to begin by respectfully acknowledging the Wurundjeri and Bunurung people of the Kulin Nation as the traditional custodians of the land on which we gather. And I would like to pay my respects to elders past, present and emerging of the Kulin Nation and extend that respect to all indigenous people present today. Today's ceremony acknowledges the academic and research achievements of our students and represents a significant step in their lifelong learning journeys. We are very pleased that so many parents, families and friends have been able to attend with, I'm aware, many of you travelling to Melbourne from countries around the world for this special occasion. 
On the occasion of this ceremony, the council and staff of the university wish to offer their congratulations to graduates on the achievement of their qualifications. For all of us, this ceremony is a significant milestone. For you, our graduates, it acknowledges the culmination of years of study, hard work and achievement. For parents, families and friends of the graduates, this ceremony is an important recognition of all the support that you have provided to our graduates. Today is an opportunity to celebrate this shared achievement. You, like we, will feel a great sense of pride and happiness in seeing your friend or family member succeed in this most significant way. For the academic and professional staff of the university, there is enormous satisfaction in seeing our students successfully complete their studies. And while this ceremony rightly celebrates the achievements of our students, it is also an important occasion for the university. Swinburne prides itself on the quality of its teaching and learning and the excellence of its research. This graduation ceremony allows Swinburne to publicly recognise our students who graduate with a range of high quality, relevant educational qualifications. These qualifications are specifically designed to produce career ready graduates and more and more we also see our alumni confidently building businesses for themselves that are creating social and economic impact. As Swinburne graduates, you have learned to collaborate, to listen carefully, to think critically, and to resolve conflicts through reason. Whatever your chosen profession, these essential skills are critical to your future success and ongoing professional development. Swinburne is an internationally recognised university in the fields of science, technology, design, business and innovation. We are highly ranked for our research excellence and well known for our strong engagement with industry. And we are fortunate to be surrounded by motivated, passionate and innovative researchers who collaborate actively with scholars at leading universities in many countries in different parts of the world. Through such collaborations, we see tremendous impact across all facets of society. Swinburne as an inclusive global university, we take pride in seeing our graduates from around the world pursue meaningful careers. And so graduates, today you join an international community of professionals who will make a difference. Thank you for the privilege of allowing us to contribute to your education and for enriching our community with your quest for knowledge. I now call upon Professor Linda Christensen, AO, Vice-Chancellor and President of Swinburne University of Technology, to introduce the next part of the proceedings. Chancellor, I call upon the Right Honourable Datu Patingi, Dr. Abang Haji Abdul Rahman, Zahari Bintuk Datu Abang Haji Openg, to present himself for admission to the degree of Doctor of the University Honoris Causa in recognition of his long and distinguished service to the state of Sarawak and his strong connection with Swinburne. The Right Honourable Datu Patingi, Dr. Abang Haji Abdul Rahman, Zahari bin Tun Datu Abang Haji Openg, or Abang Jo, as he is fondly known, is the sixth chief minister of Sarawak. He is the youngest son of Sarawak's first governor, the late Tun Datu Abang Haji Openg bin Abang Sapi. He received his early education in Kuching, the capital of Sarawak, and holds a Master of Business Management from Brunel University in the UK. He entered politics at the age of 27 and was first elected to the State Legislative Assembly when he won the Satok seat in 1981 and was later appointed as the Chief Political Secretary to the Chief Minister. In 1983, he won the Satok seat for the second time and was appointed as the Deputy Minister of Regional and Community Development. In 1987, after winning the Satok seat for the third time, he was promoted to the post of Minister of Industrial Development. Three years later, he was appointed as the Minister of Tourism, 
the Minister of Housing in 2004 and the Minister of Housing and Urbanization in 2009. After being returned again as member of the State Legislative Assembly in 2011, he was appointed as the Minister of Housing and Minister of Tourism. The state elections in 2016 saw him win the Satok seat for the ninth consecutive time. He was appointed as, a deputy, as Deputy Chief Minister in 2016, holding the portfolios of housing and urbanization and of tourism, arts and culture. He reached the apex of his career in state politics when he took over the helm of the Sarawak state government in January 2017 as Chief Minister. In March 2017, he was appointed as the Pro-Chancellor of Swinburne University of Technology's Sarawak campus. In October 2017, he was awarded an honorary doctorate in business and management to honour him for his leading role in the effort to transform the state's economy into one that is driven by technologies. Datuk Patingi Dr. Abang Haji Sohari's long and distinguished service to the state of Sarawak and his strong connections with Swinburne are most aptly recognized through this honorary doctorate. Chancellor, it is with great pleasure that in accordance with Swinburne University of Technology legislation, I present to you the Right Honorable Datuk Patingi Dr. Abang Haji Abdul Rahman Zahari Bintun Daktuk Abang Haji Openg for admission to the degree of Doctor of the University. Chancellor, it's with pleasure that I now invite the Right Honourable Datuk Patingi Dr. Abang Haji Abdul Rahman Zahari bin Tun Datuk Abang Haji Openg to say a few words on this very special occasion. Chancellor, Swinburne University, Vice Chancellor, Deputy Vice Chancellor, Mr. Jane Ward, Vice President, Professor John Wilson, Deputy Vice Chancellor, and Chief Executive Officer of Swinburne Sarawak Campus, distinguished guests, graduates, ladies and gentlemen. First and foremost, I would like to record my thanks and appreciation to Swinburne University for conferring me with the award of an honorary doctor of the university. It is indeed an honor for me to be here today in Melbourne to receive the award. Ladies and gentlemen, Sarawak as a Malaysian territory on the island of Borneo, is a part of the Association of Commonwealth Countries that has a long association with Australia. Sarawak, land of the Hanbeers, was once ruled by the White Rajas and was later handed over to the British to become a British Crown colony in 1946. During the Second World War, Sarawak was briefly occupied by the Japanese and Australia were among the countries that had sent military forces to Sarawak to liberate it from the Japanese at the end of the war. Australia has been a place where many Sarawakians come to study and even my predecessors were educated in Australia under the Colombo Plan. Sarawak Association with Australia has endured to this day, and when we in Sarawak were looking for partners to assist us in the development of our tertiary education and human resource development, Australia Swinburne, in particular, was there to lend us a helping hand. Swinburne Overseas Campus was established in Kuching 
in the year 2000. Thanks to Australia's generosity and also thanks to the people of Swinburne for their willingness to assist us in Sarawak to develop our human capital. Ladies and gentlemen, to be honest, I was somewhat thrust into politics some 40 years ago. I have served in various ministerial capacities in the Sarawak government, from tourism to public housing, to agriculture, to industrial development. I can confidently say that I was there in the past 40 years to see and did my bit to steer Sarawak from an agriculture and community-based economy to one that was diversified into manufacturing and industrialization. When I took over the helm of Chief Minister in 2017, I have the conviction that Sarawak has to move away from conventional economy to one that is driven by digital technologies. We have to follow the rest of the world towards the digitalization of our economy, which presents vast opportunities for us beyond the shores of Sarawak. We are setting aside a big budget to upgrade our digital infrastructure to enable 5G services to be available in all parts of Sarawak to support our vision of turning Sarawak into a strong digital economy by the year 2030. Sarawak has a population of about 2.8 million and it is not sufficient to support a strong domestic economy and we have to turn to the rest of Asia with a population of roughly 3 billion as markets for our products, agricultural products in particular. We still have large tracts of land which landowners can develop to produce food, I believe, with smart and precision farming and IoT, coupled with good marketing strategies and logistics, we can penetrate the Asian food market and become a net exporter of food. Ladies and gentlemen, we are also trying to reduce our carbon footprints and work towards developing a green economy, preserve and protect the natural environment, especially our rainforests. We have stopped issuing permits to large-scale logging and setting up of oil plantations on state land. We are very keen to develop a sustainable timber and oil palm industry develop non-timber products, set aside more and more forest areas as national parks and develop them into tourism assets. We have already developed a substantial portion of our energy generation by harnessing the hydro potential of our rivers. Our industries are now run mainly by renewable energy from our hydro dams. We are also carrying out research into the development of hydrogen as green energy from water with the hope that one day we can benefit from an economy that is built around the use and production of hydrogen as an emission-free fuel. We believe we have the potential to transform our economy away from conventional into a digital economy with all the strength that we have. Our political stability, our effort in earnest towards good public governance, our abundant natural resources, our vast renewable energy potentials, and our strategic location at the center of Asia 
our, our strong points that we must capitalize on to transform the economy and upgrade the quality of life and living standard of our people. We know that we want to do for ourselves in Sarawak is a very tall order, but we count ourselves fortunate that we have partners like Swinburne that is willing to help us in our effort to train and develop our human resources potential as part of our overall transformation plan. I am proud to say that Swinburne Sarawak is a very successful partnership between the State, State, between the Sarawak State Government and Swinburne University of Technology to provide Australian degrees at affordable prices in Malaysia. Since being established in 2000, Swinburne, Sarawak has graduated over 7,000 students with 65% from the state of Sarawak, providing a strong mechanism to, for de developing and retaining local talent. Swimban Sarawak has created a significant social and economic impact for the state generation, generating around 1,400 jobs and 150 million ringgit per annum to the Sarawak economy and producing about 700 graduates each year. The state government is working closely with Swinburne Sarawak in our quest to make it a leading university in Malaysia by 2025. We are working hand in hand to develop a world-class campus in Kuching with around 5,000 students and a research ecosystem that links closely with Swinburne. To conclude, let me thank Swinburne once again for the award, and may it may be a motivation for me to work harder to make Swinburne Sarawak a premier university in Malaysia and perhaps in Asia. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chief Minister, for your insightful comments and hearty congratulations again on today's recognition of your inspiring achievements. Could I now ask all graduates to please stand? By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Council of Swinburne University of Technology, gives me pleasure to admit you as graduates to the awards for which you have qualified and to all the rights and privileges of those awards. Congratulations. <laughs> Please be seated. Now it gives me pleasure to call upon David Coltman, Deputy Vice-Chancellor, Pathways and Vocational Education to present the Pathways and Vocational Education graduates. Chancellor, I have the great pleasure in presenting to you our Pathways and Vocational Education graduates. To the graduates, Congratulations on your achievements. Take pride in your graduation, and we wish you great success in your chosen field, and look forward to seeing you again at Swinburne throughout your lifelong learning journey. Chancellor, I have the honor to present to you the graduates on whom an award has been conferred. For the Certificate Four in Work, Health and Safety, Randy Frimpong. For the Diploma of Building and Construction, Building, David Michael Patrick Hofstede. <clears throat> For
for the Diploma of Business, Jam Coat. Inoka Urala Gamage. For the Diploma of Business, Unilink, Lachlan David Gillespie. Dulaj Sangit Pratipa Vikrama Vikramasinghe. For the Diploma of Business Administration, Rebecca Leah Finn. <laughs> Natalie Joy Yench. <laughs> For the Diploma of Business Studies, Rino Desiato. For the Diploma of Design, Unilink, Claire Donna Rogozin. <laughs> For the Diploma of Early Childhood Education and Care, Alex Grace Cam. <laughs> Maxine May Hampak. For the Diploma of Education Studies, Hala Louise Dorma. <laughs> Catherine Hard. <laughs> For the Diploma of Human Resources Management, Michael Simeoni. For the Diploma of Information Technology, Unilink, Muhammad Jeffrey Dayan Bahardin. <laughs> Joshua Simon Hendrick. <laughs> Tawit Kiork. For the Diploma of Marketing, Kimberly Ann Maxwell. <laughs> For the Diploma of Nursing, Biak Tachin Tlasa. <laughs> For the Diploma of Science, Unilink, Takshila Sandali Fernando Palamandadike. For the Diploma of Social Science, Elizabeth Hammond. That concludes the awards for the Pathways and Vocational Education. I now call upon Professor Janet Hiller, Dean, School of Health Sciences, Faculty of Health, Arts and Design, to present the faculty graduates. Today I have the privilege of presenting the graduates from the Faculty of Health, Arts and Design. You should be confident that you are well prepared to pursue your career aspirations. Embrace the challenges and opportunities you encounter. We salute your achievement and congratulate you. Enjoy the experience of the day, acknowledge what you have accomplished and share this important achievement with your family and friends who helped you along the way. Chancellor, I have the honour to present to you the graduates on whom an award has been conferred. For the Associate Degree of Education, Sky Jade Peterson. <clears throat> Kai Wai Yeung. For the Bachelor of Animation, Lauren Elise Abbott. Gregory Keith Bates.
Emma Kate Davies. Riley Eric Earl. James Jeffrey Flanagan. Fiona Jean Gardner. Karina Hatzis. Denise Huang. Simone Elise Jones. Julieta Alexandra Lugara. Jonathan Ng. Lara Tan Nguy En. Jordan Lee Nolan. Matthew Gary Scaife. Manny Rose Stevens. Li Ting Yan. For the Bachelor of Arts, Mariam Wajid Muhammad Siddiq Al Bulushi. James Bandon Burns. Michaela Jane Blackley. Romeo Naudrik Andres Borja. Chloe Juliana Cannon. Madeline Jane Castricum. Davina Jane Teluau. Rachel Alice Dodemaid. Dougal Jack Edwards. Darcy Lyle Foster. Jia Han Ho. Sean William Kiza. Christina Le. Imogen Amelia Lewis Granland. Finola Jane Lynch. Jiman Nafisa Mujarbel. Nam Huai Vo Nguyen. Nicholas David Rankin. Lia Serratore. Amanda Lauren Shadur. Peter Roy Shellcross. Catherine Marianne Chandrika Stevens. Van Lal Tang.
James Gamlien Duang Dangman. Isabella Hope Tilly. Hugh Tilly. Dio Lin Jan. Justine Elaine Vema. Annika Jane Willoughby. For the Bachelor of Arts, Games and Interactivity, Patrick Warren Lunny. Luke Andrew Brekop. Callum Edward Stone. For the Bachelor of Arts, International Studies and International Business, Magnus Garciano. For the Bachelor of Arts, International Studies and Japanese, Jake McClure. Bridget Wang. For the Bachelor of Arts, Journalism, Ainsley Lauren Oates. For the Bachelor of Arts, Media and Communication, Jamie Lee McIntyre. Jade Grace Wilkinson. For the Bachelor of Arts, Professional Writing and Editing, Madeline Claire Apps. Akalanka Pedro Curey. Jessica Beatrice Cunha. Cameron Owen Pierce. For the Bachelor of Arts, Psychology and Forensic Science, Michael Yi An Fang. For the Bachelor of Arts, Sociology, Tom Edward John Foley. For the Bachelor of Communication, Advertising, Jacob James Abbey. Sarah Amelina Aljohari. Joel Neil Dalglish. Gemma Margaret Harris. Rory Robert McKenna. For the Bachelor of Communication, Media Studies, Camille Frances Chalier. <laughs> Chloe Marie House. <laughs> Janie Susan Umbeck. For the Bachelor of Communication, Public Relations, Lee Brand. Yoshiko Ota. For the Bachelor of Education, Early Childhood, Adriana Adamo. Alison Bowman. Cassandra Louise Briggs.
Yasmin Buenaventura. Charlotte Caldarelli. Monica Carville. Naomi Louise Clements. Selena Suzette Collins. Yana Michelle Crisp. Loretta Elizabeth Crockett. Jessie Rose Diel. Gemma Dickinson. Tanika Ray Doble. Nadia Gavrilkov. Jessica Jane Gibbs. Lara Greenshields. Martine Hamilton. Sally Hosking. Karen Hutchinson. Anne Jarmain. Shakira Khan. Bronwyn Lyle. Anita Jane Lockland. Alison Leah Mirabella. Audrey Lee Rizzato. Donna Seaton. Karen Singleton. Whitney Stevens. Anna Sugunarajan. Jenna May Thurston. Laura Vardy. Michelle Carol Vincent. Fiona Warden. Ainsley Williams. For the Bachelor of Education, Primary, Georgia Barcas. Cherie Billen. Diarne Bonfilio. Eleanor May Bruce. Brooke Carlisle. Seren Tjervinka. Pete Collins.
Rebecca Crellin. Rebecca Cross. Brittany Jane Delaney. Aisha El Kurdi. Jodie Patricia Fian. Rebecca Louise Halley. <laughs> Melissa Hoare. <laughs> Celeste Hill. <laughs> Jacqueline Irvine. Kelly Elizabeth Jones. <laughs> Vinita Vikashni Karan. <laughs> Andrew David Kotwas. <laughs> Stacy Landrigan. Bree Landrigan. Scott James Maltby. Simone Marie McCann. Danielle Mills. Chloe Caitlin Monaghan. <laughs> Stephanie Marie Morell. Yeah. Kate Ann Mutinyat. <laughs> Alisar Najem. Sharon Denise Newton. Huang Zung Nguyen. Kirsten Ann Oliver. Rachel Orellana. Alana Owen Stewart. <laughs> Susan Diggin Pesco. <laughs> Shalene Pilifeant. <laughs> Glodis Blant. Catherine Flora Ridgeway. <laughs> Leticia Sabich. <laughs> Justine Smith Clark. <laughs> Rochelle Vicky Strachan. Chandel Elizabeth Terry. <laughs> Emma Thompson. <laughs> Sophie Tresseter. <laughs> Anne.
Annette Turner. Jack Grin van der Felsen. Maria Lisa Ward. Lisa Jean Watson. Helen Marie Wells. Carly Ann Westerway. Benjamin Williams. For the Bachelor of Education, Secondary, Madison Melak. For the Bachelor of Film and Television, Hazal Alakus. Glencora Rose Brennan. Isabel Amy Caterer. Ethan Van Chapman. Simon Tang. Lin Shimute Kerr. Seyed Nasser Havanin Zade. <laughs> Madeline Grace Latomansky. Anthony Gerard Martinez. Dua Khaled Nazar. Oops. Charlotte Mears. Amy Elizabeth Pereira. Remy Patrick Pilot. Clarent Yoale. For the Bachelor of Film and Television, Animation, Dylan Butler. Zoe Kate Papatheohari. Damien Michael Rogers. For the Bachelor of Games and Interactivity, Natasha Elizabeth Claire Kush. <laughs> Tegan Kira Nicholson. <laughs> Bonnie May Oliver. <laughs> Michael Stracke. For the Bachelor of Media and Communication, Aloy Gorhin Amilale Simmons. <laughs> Christina Anastasi. <laughs> Matthew Bailey. <laughs> Lucille Alexandra Bateman. Raja Alisa Zafira Pinti Raja Aslan Shah. Stephen William Blacker. Carla Elizabeth Boglis. Bianca Canturi.
Tiang Nam Chi. Rebecca Christine Churchwood. Huang Wei En Tang. Mimi Diamond King. Rachel Elizabeth Ezat. Bronte Rose Farqua. Brenton William Gardner. Kate Alexandra Howard. Zoe Cardanos. Laila Laik Khan. Amanda Kirkowski. Pranita Kisun. Catherine Elizabeth Lee. Nicholas Samuel Mazzella. Sinead Cara McComish. Christina Kathleen McNulty. Emily May McPhail. Rory Cunningham Newport. Hui Zhi Ngui. Chu Gop An Ngui An. Jet Tyler Nye. Victoria Aliki Papanastasis. Cassandra Denise Pascual. Elizabeth Fan. Hannah Marie Pratt. Claire Hannah Therese Giasson. Ophelia Rangel Zurbia. Ashling May Ryan. Monica Sabbatucci. Andrew Paul Sanders. Caitlin Page Sharp. Hannah Denecu Scale. Claire Amy Spratt. Michaela Claire Stranix. Abby Patricia Thorpe. Catherine Grace Doce. Ebony Lynn Truen. Michaela Elizabeth Turner. Alison Pamela Vella. Ramona Laura Warden.
Michaela Jade Wilson. Harriet Lucy Witherow. For the Bachelor of Screen Production, Carly Liesel Hausler. Emma Louise Kelson. Josiah Saxby. Jordan Shepisi. For the Bachelor of Social Science, Community Health, Veronica Jane Young. For the Bachelor of Social Science, Criminology and Forensic Science, Rachel Waters. For the Bachelor of Social Science, Criminology, Avril Diamente. Brian Filipac. Jessica Hislop. Pradeep Karki. Renee McClare. Lydia Mary. Laura Skinner. For the Bachelor of Social Science, Public Relations, Vivian Julia Francis McManus. For the Bachelor of Social Science, Sociology, Erna Widianti. For the Bachelor of Arts, Games and Interactivity, Bachelor of Computer Science, Peter Benjamin Argent. Taylor Gray. For the Bachelor of Arts, Games and Interactivity, Bachelor of Science, Computer Science and Software Engineering. Zhang Tui Di Le. For the Bachelor of Arts, Games and Interactivity, Bachelor of Computer Science, Huang Lin Bui. Jim Edward James. Diane Khaled Nazar. For the Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Business, Joanna Francesca Alcala. Hannah Jane Bennett. Madeline Jane Bourne. Georgia Lee Bunker. Wendy Le. Travis Nathan Medhurst. Ellen Cregan Shaw. Amy Lee Williams. For the Bachelor of Education, Secondary, Bachelor of Arts, Alexei Trikovic. For the Bachelor of Education, Secondary, Bachelor of Science, Samuel John Fitzgerald. <laughs> Ryan Lee Bunker. 
Robert Shuri. For the Bachelor of Media and Communication, Bachelor of Business, Amelia Celine Castello. <laughs> Madeline Frances Denham. <laughs> For the Bachelor of Research, Honours, Matthew Christopher Holland. For the Graduate Certificate in Learning and Teaching, Higher Education, John Zakaria Sopi Ebrahim. <laughs> For the Graduate Certificate of Social Science, Housing Management and Policy, Elaine Kerr. <laughs> For the Graduate Diploma of Teaching, Primary, Bronwyn Boot. Jenny Marie Corbin. <laughs> Justin Krane. <laughs> Mary Davis. <laughs> Mona Elchishin Lumans. Leanne Elizabeth Fitch. Anna Francis. Jennifer Hurst. Sabrina Gail Scrivener. Vaishali Ben Darshit Thakur. Esra Uzunbai. For the Master of Media and Communication, Cheng Shen Yi. For the Master of Multimedia, Taisia Lebedeva. <laughs> For the Master of Teaching, Primary, Clinton Troy Bodley. <laughs> Laura Coulter. Michael Lawrence Dumtsis. Larissa Jane Holdsworth. Deborah Joanne Jardine. Julia Jean Koch. Eda Leong. <laughs> Rachel Louise McGrath. <laughs> Sylvia Scales. <laughs> Brianna Margaret Smith. India Rose Thomas. <laughs> Alexandra Wendy Travis. <laughs> Maria Securas. <laughs> Carolina Maria Velayuten.
for the Master of Teaching Secondary, Jesse Avril Cunningham. <clears throat> Lindsay Thomas Knight. <clears throat> Gemma Shan Reed. For the Diploma of Laboratory Technology, Nurina Asadi. <clears throat> For the Bachelor of Arts, Sandra Marina Said. <clears throat> that concludes the awards for the Faculty of Health, Arts and Sciences. I now call upon Professor Beth Webster, Pro Vice-Chancellor, Research and Policy, Research Policy and Impact, to present the graduates from Swinburne Research. Chancellor, graduates of high degrees by research at Swinburne must demonstrate that their work meets the most rigorous standards. The outcome of, of their scholarship and research is examined by international experts to ensure that it makes a significant an original contribution to their field at international standards. Many of our doctoral graduates have presented their work at world conferences and published in international refereed journals. During their candidature, they've already been contributing to Swinburne's growing research reputation. So as we congratulate them on receiving their award, we ask that, that they join the university staff on stage. Although these achievements are, are indeed remarkable and worthy of celebration, it's worth taking a moment to reflect on what making an original contribution to knowledge really means. To succeed in research, you need to have the courage to go into the unknown. Every thesis is a journey of risk, taking results, taking, risk taking, resulting in mistakes, failures and successes in equal measure and without which progress is simply not possible. Our graduates leave Swinburne as world experts in their chosen field. But armed with finely honed skills to be curious, to take risks, to, to disrupt convention and to forge new paths, they also have the right expertise to make a real impact on our world. Swinburne is immensely proud that our research degree graduates will continue to make significant contributions to the advancement of knowledge, to solving challenges confronting our world, and to enriching communities wherever they live and work. Today, we salute the courageous and wish you well as you continue your adventure into the unknown. Chancellor, I have the honour to present to you the graduates on whom an award has been conferred. For thesis citations, please refer to the graduation ceremony program. Chancellor, I have the honour to present to you the graduates on whom a doctorate has been confirmed. Chancellor, I present to you Dr. Garrity Vivian Hill for the Doctor of Philosophy. Dr. Hill's thesis title is Engagement for Climate Change, the Movement Against Unconventional Gas in Victoria, Australia. <clears throat> Chancellor, I present to you Dr. Hitomi Mizuno for the Doctor of Philosophy. Dr. Mizuno's thesis title is Establishing and Validating a Measure of the Japanese Concept of Self. <clears throat> Chancellor, I present to you Dr. Matthew John Perkins for the Doctor of Philosophy.
Dr. Perkins' thesis title is Restore, Remake, Reference, a Curating a History of Australian Video Art. <laughs> Chancellor, I present to you Dr. Matthew Robert Riley for the Doctor of Philosophy. Dr. Riley's thesis title is The Augmented Bushwalk, Contemplative Play Across Digital Systems and Natural Worlds. <clears throat> Chancellor, and finally, last but not least, I present to you Dr. Daniel Joseph Stainsbury for the Doctor of Philosophy. Dr. Stainby's thesis title is Australia Felix, Immersive Visions of the Great Southern Land. Chancellor, that concludes the awards for Swinburne Research. I now call upon Amy Pereira, who graduated today with a Bachelor of Film and Television, to speak on behalf of the graduates. Chancellor, Vice-Chancellor, Swinburne staff, fellow graduates and guests. This is the day that all of us have strived for. Today we are here to celebrate our graduation. And on behalf of the graduating congregation, I would sincerely like to thank everyone who has been with us from the beginning. Throughout our years at Swinburne, it is clear to see that we have become a tight-knit community. From day one, we were embraced by Swinburne and given many opportunities and resources that would help us achieve our goals and get us to this moment. The Swinburne staff deserve our gratitude for their guidance during our studies. I have no doubt that all of us here today were taught by people who possess the same drive and passion that originally brought us to Swinburne. We must acknowledge our classmates who were beside us both in and out of the classrooms. It has been a privilege to work and connect with such dedicated, and empowering individuals over the years. A huge thank you goes out to our families and friends who supported us through thick and thin and who will continue with us as we reach the end of this significant chapter and begin another. A degree that requires patience, determination and sacrifice. It is more than just assignments and exams. Our degrees teach us how to grow into the person we set out to become when we first came to Swinburne. Our graduation today marks a very proud time for us all. The knowledge, memories, and friendships we've formed at Swinburne will help us succeed on whichever path we choose, and we are thrilled to be sharing this transition with the people we value in our lives. Congratulations to the fellow graduates, and good luck for the future. We did it. Thank you. Thank you very much, Amy. Well, to Swinburne graduates, I know that today is the culmination of years of hard work and that during this time, as Amy mentioned, you've had the encouragement and help of family and friends. So on yours and the university's behalf, I wish to thank them for their support of your studies at Swinburne and for being here to see you graduate. So graduates, please stand, turn to face your family and friends, and join me in a round of applause to say thank you to those who have helped you reach this important milestone.
Thank you. Please resume your seats. Graduates, I do hope that you will consider your graduation as a step along the path of a lifelong association with Swinburne. Education, more than ever today, is a continuing process, and I invite you to Swinburne in the future to further your studies. I encourage you to stay connected through Swinburne alumni. At graduation, you, like I did, automatically become lifelong members of Swinburne alumni, a worldwide network of more than 180,000 graduates. This network gives you access to a valuable community who share your connection to Swinburne, a powerful tool for building and developing your careers and for seizing lifelong opportunities. As well as events in Australia, Swinburne alumni has a growing number of networks in many other parts of the world. So even if you are leaving Melbourne, you can always stay connected to Swinburne and take advantage of what it means to be a Swinburne graduate. Graduates, on your behalf, I also wish to take this opportunity to thank the academic and professional staff for their contribution to your education at Swinburne. Could I ask all staff to please rise? And graduates, please join me in a round of applause for all the Swinburne staff. Thank you. I now call upon Professor Linda Christensen, AO, Vice-Chancellor and President of Swinburne University, to deliver the charge to the graduates. Before I read the charge to the graduates, on behalf of the staff at Swinburne University, I would like to congratulate you on the awards that we are honoring today. You graduate today with a deep understanding of your disciplines and an appreciation of the expectations of your chosen professions. You also graduate from Swinburne having gained distinctive graduate attributes that we think will help you in your future careers. You have become more reflective communicators, better problem solvers, and gained proficiency in working effectively in teams. And I trust that you have experienced and reflected upon the values that we espouse, a university that is inclusive, environmentally conscious, conscious, and committed to respectful, ethical conduct. Because we are a university actively engaged with industry and professional bodies, we know that you will graduate well prepared for careers of the future. You are our future leaders, visionaries, challengers, and trailblazers. One of the greatest benefits of achieving a qualification from Swinburne is the opportunity to meet and study with people from different countries and different cultures. Friendships developed can be lifelong and mutually beneficial. As our future leaders, the relationships you foster will help build a prosperous global community. I look forward to your ongoing engagement with us and wish you the very best for the future. May I now ask the graduates to please stand for the charge. In conferral of your award, I ask you, as graduates of Swinburne University of Technology, to strive to practice the university's values of integrity, accountability, teamwork, innovation, sustainability, and respect for diversity. I ask you to seek positive and creative ways to engage with and serve your communities. I ask you to remain curious and open to new learning and new experiences. And finally, use your knowledge, talents, skills, and passion to encourage a better future for the global community. Please be seated. Congratulations again and go well. This concludes the official part of the Swinburne graduation ceremony.